Here we go again. This is Bobby Blitz from Overkill. We're on Loudwire. You stay right there. We sing and tone in the incessant morning of night. Good evening. It's Graham from Loudwire, and as you can see, I'm sitting here with my favorite, Overkill's Bobby Blitz. Which is becoming regular, my friend. I know. We're, yes. I haven't hung out with you in too long. It sucks. April, I, I think. I, no, it's been like since... When, when was the last time you were here in New York City? The, when you played with DRI, was that... And that was April. Was that April? It's a been yeah, all... April, May. Ever since April. Yeah, yeah. Too long. It's too long. we got to do this more often. We do. <laughs> but it's actually very funny because I was supposed to... I was supposed to see you again for an interview at Heavy MTL in Montreal. But what happened is we had been back there. We had just been there to interview Slipknot, and we got taken back. And there are these golf carts that have to escort you back and forth from the, the band areas where all the tour buses are. And we're getting escorted back, and they had changed the security guards. So there's this short little kind of pudgy teen there, and as we go by, he like looks at us and just starts running or like waddling like really fast <laughs> like and he's just like he's really like sprinting for like a good 10 seconds yeah. when he catches the uh, the golf cart or the attention of the golf cart people and said you don't have the right passes to go back here and we're to, so it was just this big clusterfuck and I was pissed off at him and so I'm sorry I didn't get to see you I didn't have the right wrist <laughs> I'll get more of a kick out of the waddle sprint <laughs> <laughs> you can picture it right like winting the first time I met you was uh, I was comparing Overkill to, to Iron Maiden and, and the fact that you guys were doing uh, a, you know you had this resurgence and you're doing a lot of s continually just great material and this time I want to compare you to Iggy Pop because you're 53 years old. You, you had been smoking, not so much anymore, with the electronic cigarettes. Right. Uh, you'll enjoy your beer, yet you have a six-pack. I have no idea how that makes sense physically. It's, it's a tattoo. It's a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. wait, wait, do you have any secrets? What, what, what is it? Well, I, you know, I suppose uh, it's part genetic disposition, part uh, excitement for this, part uh, still having enough testosterone to pull it over the top. <laughs> uh, I mean, I suppose all the elements when it comes together. And this is, uh, Overkill's always really been a power pack kind of a situation. Sure. So, uh, you know, except for a cold I have right now, I mean, I try to stay in as good a health as possible, and that includes running with my dog, that includes um, working out a little bit. And I mean, obviously, I'm not one of those built guys. It's just more I can run the mile kind of a, kind okay. of a cat, you know. Uh, but it's, uh, it always helps with the shows. I mean, I, I always thought it was important not to just say that we had energy, but to really have energy. Yeah. So, um, and, I, and I was thinking, you know, somebody asked me once, you know, how long are you going to do this? And I said, until I, until I can't. <laughs> you know? So if I can still do it, that's, uh, I suppose this is the byproduct. Of it, so. <laughs> Absolutely. And when you are on stage, speaking of energy, you're, you're constantly zipping around back and forth. You're constantly, like, disappearing mm. and reappearing, like, a split second before your vocals start. And that kind of made me think of, uh, you know, a lot of your lyrics, you know, have a lot to do, you know, uh, with there's a lot of flying lyrics and, a, sure. and you know, some superhero mentions. And <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like, I, I was just wondering, is there any part of you that bases your stage presence on those themes? You know, I think somewhere you have to, in your head, have kind of the mentality that you're um, out of normal character to some degree. I mean, but it's more for me, it's more like a high. It's like an adrenaline high. And I can tell you that darting in and out, um, I've been doing that since the beginning. And, and there's been so many little uh, assumptions with regard to why do you do that? Oh, he's back there doing cocaine. Uh, right, he's back there. Uh, you know, he has to have three shots between every song. And, and none of it was true. It was just had to do with stage fright. And that was the original reason. All wow. the way back in the 80s, I would just go, oh. <laughs> so when you weren't singing, and you kind of had this realization you were in front of so many people and you ran. I've got to get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> so, All right. That's how, you know, that, and I actually developed that into a, uh, kind of turn that fear into, let's say, part of my uh, repertoire. <laughs> That's a good story. I've got to get the fuck out of here. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> and uh, right now you're touring with Testament. Sure. Uh, um, a must-see tour, absolutely, especially if you're a Thrash fan. And, uh, you know, because uh, 
you're playing before Testament, you don't get to play quite a full set. So I was wondering how do you choose which songs that you are, are forced to kind of sacrifice to be on a tour like this? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a good point because there's, um, you know, obviously we want to play the new stuff because we like to think of ourselves as, you know, uh, viable today, current. Um, so they're all, they're all, we're doing eight songs. So it's... Uh, yeah. So the reality is, is four of them are going to be new and four of them are going to be old. Two off of uh, The Electric Age, two off Ironbound. Um, and then four that have to kind of be there to get everything going. Sure. I guess there, there's no have tos. I guess there's not supposed to be any rules in this. But for some reason, we've always closed the set with fuck you. I mean, our <laughs> yeah, entire, so even when I, when I had that stage fright running off back and forth. So. Well, yeah. Uh, and one of those songs, uh, certainly, I, I would have to guess, is Elimination. And, That's in there. And, uh, to me, Elimination is like a perfect, pure thrash song. Like, if you want a, a real thrash song, you know, from the beginning that still stands up now, Elimination is like one of the first that comes to my mind. Uh, I was wondering, what songs do you think are other perfect, just pure thrash songs? From Overkill. Well, from any other band. Oh, geez, there's plenty. Uh, <laughs> Hit the Lights by Metallica, for instance. Uh, it's a perfect thrash song. Um, Oh, jeez. Um, uh, Raining Blood by Slayer sure. is a perfect thrash song. Um, um, I think Something to Die For by um, Lamb of God is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because they, they, they border on both ends sometimes, but uh, when they get going, I think they can really get going. Last question for you right now. Mm. Um, you know, last time I saw you, you guys were headlining here at the Best Buy Theater in New sure. York. End of a tour. Uh, it was a phenomenal show, and it just seemed like the power was just radiating through the building. And when you hit that final note of the final song, of the final day of your headlining tour, what does that moment feel like? The apex, isn't it? I mean, it's like, it's, it's the top. It's the, you know, it's the pinnacle. It's... Um, you know, there's something about it that's um, it probably a little melancholy because you know it's over. Um, and you say, oh, I earned my trip home. <laughs> but now you have to wait again. Yeah. And, you know, we have the discussion at home uh, constantly, you know, where I'm out on the road for two weeks and I'm at that point now where, you know, I talk to uh, home and I say to my wife, I, I really look forward to coming home. But then I'm home for two weeks, and she goes, you're really looking forward to going out, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I live that duality of uh, life w with regard to it. But that, that final note is always, uh, to some degree, a great feeling of success. So. Right. Thank you very much again for talking to Pleasure. us. Pleasure. Of always, my friend. Bobby Blitz of Overkill. And, you know, uh, go, go out and buy The Electric Age. It was released last year, but it's still good this year. Believe me. Thank you again.